What's up guys, Resale Rabbit here, and today we are going to be talking about these things, Microsoft Office, but while we wait for a couple of viewers, you remember, maybe a week and a half ago, I found this Batman alarm clock worth, I don't remember, like 100, 130 bucks, some, somewhere in that range. It's really cool, it doesn't work. The clock ticks, everything, it seems to be a wind-up clock, however, the battery for the music, for the alarm, doesn't do anything. I put the battery in. It doesn't say what type of battery. It is kind of corroded. It says 1.5 volts in there, which the C type battery says 1.5 volts and it doesn't play music. But with the box and everything, I mean, this is like 40 bucks alone and with the box, it's like a hundred and something. So I don't remember what I told you it was. I haven't looked it up in a while, but so I figure I could probably sell it for parts and still get like 50 bucks. But that is not what this video is about. This is about another thing that I found at the Goodwill outlet the other day. Microsoft Office. A lot of people were asking, how do you look it up? How do you know if someone's used this? I mean, this thing is open. Someone easily could have used it. You know, if we get in here, the disc is right here, all wide open. The product key, which I'm not gonna show you, but the product key is on the back here. How do I know if it's good? Well, in short, I don't. When I bought it, there was no way to know. I mean, odds are, if it's at the Goodwill outlet and the box is open, it's probably been used. But it cost me probably 15 cents, if that. So I'm willing to take that gamble. Let's see exactly how much it cost me. Get my scale out here. And it weighs 3.7 ounces. So we'll just say four ounces, which is about one fourth of a pound at 89 cents a pound times 0.25. It cost me 22 cents for that. So I'm willing to gamble 22 cents for an item that's worth like 75 to 100 bucks. So I finally figured it out. I was reading the forums and wasn't on Microsoft.com, wasn't getting any information there. So I decided, screw it, I'm calling Microsoft. And after about five minutes on the phone with them, I got nowhere. Uh, automated menu after automated menu after automated menu, and eventually the automated menu hung up on me. They kept telling me to go to support.microsoft.com, so that's what I did. I went to support.microsoft.com, I opened up a chat window, and I basically said, I wanna know if this product key is valid, and they wouldn't tell me. Uh, first, they started asking me um, information about you know, what I plan to do with it. Are you, are you gonna install it right now? Are you having trouble installing it? And I kept saying, Basically my answer for that, I didn't want to tell them that I'm gonna sell it because they might have some policy where they can't tell me. So I just said, I don't want to install it right now. I just want to know if it's valid, if I can install it. Then he started asking me where I got it. And I know if I said, I paid 22 cents in a thrift store, he would have said, yeah, it's fake. Don't, don't, go away, go away. So I didn't say that. What I told him was I found it in the back of the closet at home and I don't know if we used it or not. We bought it you know, quite some time ago. It's 2011 is what it says on it. I just wanna know if we can use it on future computers or if I should just throw it away. And finally, he asked me for the product key. I gave him the product key, he told me, yes, it is good for three machines. So it has never been used before, which is great news. I can throw that on eBay. I can get, I don't know, 75 to 100 bucks for it. I haven't looked it up since I was at the outlet. If you go back to the video, you can get the more exact price. Now I know the first thing people are gonna ask me is, how do I know I'm not gonna get scammed? A buyer could buy it, use it, and then say, hey, doesn't work. It can happen. There's absolutely nothing that I can do to prevent that. So I'm just going to hope and assume that buyers are good. Um, I am gonna make it very clear on the listing that we are, uh, that we checked it with, with Microsoft and they said it was valid yada 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 i'm going to take a picture of the product key and keep it obviously not post it i will keep it with me but again that's not going to help me very much you know you can get scammed on ebay it's just something that happens and there isn't a whole lot you can do to uh, protect yourself one thing i do have to protect myself i don't know how ebay will handle it but i do have a transcript of the chat where microsoft says this product key it has the product key and then they said this product key is valid and it has the date and time. So if it sells tomorrow and a week from now, the buyer says, yeah, it's junk and sends it back to me, I will at the very least contact eBay and say, here's proof that it was a good product key when I sold it and it's not anymore. And maybe eBay will side with me, I really don't know. But that's about all I can really do to protect myself. 
So that is how you find out if the product key on these is any good. Uh, there's really not much else you can do. If they don't give you that answer, end the chat and try again. You'll get someone else. I've had that with the AT&T micro cells. We all know those. Um, I've had AT&T say, yeah, we can't give you that information. We can't tell you if it's, good, if it's good to activate or not. So I'll hang up the phone and call them again, and the next person might tell me. So, you know, whenever you, with anything like that, if they don't tell you what you need to know, you go to the next one. Was the exact Mac 2000, I missed the first part of that comment. Hello from Kenya. Wow, you're watching from really far away. So, anyways, that's what I got. That's about all I can tell you on that. Couple of little things. Next week, this weekend probably, I'm going to do a Q&A video. Just, all I need you guys to do is comment below any questions you might have. I've also got a thread over on the Resale Rabbit Facebook group, or Facebook page. Just search Resale Rabbit on Facebook. You'll see my cartoon picture of me. Uh, if you have any questions that you want me to answer in the video, ask it either on that thread or down below in the comments here. And then of course I will take questions live while, while doing that. I don't know how many questions I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna to try to get to them all, but I'm not gonna make it a two hour long video answering questions. So if you have any questions, eBay, Amazon, the business in general, write down below. And uh, someone asked me if I enjoy my occupation. I very much so enjoy it. I, I wouldn't change a thing. I love what I do. It doesn't even feel like work, it's like a hobby. When I'm bored, I go thrifting. But leave your questions below. The other thing is I am closing in on 10,000 subscribers. I've got like 9,300, 9,400. And I notice in my analytics that 62% of you guys who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So I'm gonna ask you a favor, go down below and subscribe. The College Picker, one of my favorite YouTubers, just hit 10,000 subscribers and made him a wooden play button. So I'm gonna do the same. If I can figure out how to make it, I don't have a wood burner like he does. So if you guys go down and subscribe, I only need 600 of you. I get to that 10,000 mark, I'm gonna feel accomplished. I'm gonna make myself a wooden play button and I'll show you in a future video. But that's all I've got for you guys. Someone just asked if I'm going on the road anytime soon. Not quite to the extent that I was before, but you know I will be doing some road trips here and there. I am planning a trip to New Orleans this winter for a football game. So that's all I got. I will see you guys later in the next video. Contact Microsoft to check these and see you later.